So in this video, we're going to be learning how to create our own really simple neural network in JavaScript. This way, we can learn the basics of how neural networks work, and we also get to see a neural network in action. So I wrote an article on howcode.org that you can follow along with that has the code for this video. But our neural network is going to be really simple, and it's going to do the exclusive OR operation. So exclusive OR is a logical operation that outputs true only if the inputs differ. So if we look at the truth table, you can see when the two inputs are the same, the output is zero. And when the two inputs are different, the output is one. And our neural network is going to take two inputs and it's going to output a probability between zero and one. So if the probability is close to one, we're going to interpret that as a one. And if the probability is close to zero, we're going to interpret that as a zero. So we're going to implement our neural network using brain.js. It's a really cool library, which takes care of the heavy lifting for us, which is why this is all of the code for our program here. So we're running it inside of node.js. So to get set up, what you want to do is say npm init minus y. That will just set up your node project. Then what we want to do is just type in npm install brain.js and that will install brain.js in our project. So now we have brain.js installed. All we want to do is include that into our project. Next, we create a neural network. All we do is create a new instance of our brain class and we call the neural network method. That gives us a brand new neural network, but it hasn't been trained yet, so it's not going to work. So what we have to do is we have to train our neural network. So what we do is we train it by passing our training data. And this is the training data up here. But our neural network doesn't know how to do exclusive OR. So we have to do some supervised learning, which is where we tell our network the input and we tell it what the correct answer will be for the output. So this is the truth table for exclusive OR. So we have four possibilities. So in our training data, we want to show our neural network all of the possibilities. This is kind of different from a more complicated neural network because what we're doing is we're actually showing the network every possibility. But with a more complicated neural network, you can just show some training data and your neural network can work out the correct answers after that. So now to run the neural network, we just use the run function and we pass two inputs in. And now since the network has been trained and it, it knows that the correct output should be zero, when it sees zero, zero, it's going to give us a probability close to zero. So if I run this, you can see when our input is zero, zero, the probability is really close to zero. And when it's one zero, the probability is close to one. And that is what we expected. For zero zero, the output should be zero. And for one zero, the output should be one. So that's a really simple introduction to neural networks and brain.js. I'll put a link to this article in the description if you want to learn some more. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.